YouTube, it's been a while, man. So today is November 12th, 2020. Today is the PS5 release date, and guess what? I got it. 500 bucks off Amazon, got it release day. Let's open this thing up. Damn, this thing is huge. First of all, the box. This is how the outer part of the box looks like. PS5 right there. And then, play like never before, so hopefully it's something I played like never before. Now here's the inner case which contains the PS5 and I already ordered a spare controller for a second player. First off is the, another controller. Comes with a controller, of course. Got another one. I have two now. Comes with, let's see, this is a quick start guide. I'm sure, you'll need that. And let's see, safety guide. And these are power cable. Ooh, this table is small for this thing. And whoops, that fell out. And here is your controller charger. Next that comes out is the stand. Looks like. <sighs> you got the stand. Here's the HDMI cable. Now, here's the PS5. God, this thing's already heavy. I'm in the box already. I got it all out. Let's see. Hopefully, this is the right way to do this. What can I say? This thing is massive. That's how tall this thing is already. There you go. That's how the PS5 looks like. Man. This thing is huge. I have my PS4 on, but... Give me a second, I'll compare the sizes. Now let's compare the sizes of each of these things. So here on the left is gonna be a PS3, here's the PS4, and here's the PS5. So this thing is huge. This is literally four to five inches taller, I think. Oh, Jesus, this thing is massive. I don't even know if I'll be able to fit it in my cabinet. I'll show you guys after this how I set it up. Now let's compare the controllers. Here's the PS5 controller, new DualSense, it's pretty nice. It's bigger than the, the stock PS4 controller. You can take a look at it already. This already feels nice in my hands. This is the way I like it. It's the exact same size as the Scuff Vantage 2 that I got for about $200. This is just for Call of Duty. I also got a Scuff Vantage, that's what it's called if I remember. And I also got the Scuff Infinity 4. PlayStation, something like that. But yeah, this is much more bigger than the PS4 controller. Okay, guys, I set this up horizontally because as you can see here, this thing isn't fitting vertically in anywhere. PS4 is already 
horizontal, PS3 is horizontal, this has to be horizontal. So let's turn this thing on for the first time. Bar lights up blue. The PlayStation logo flashes in the way. And now you gotta set it up. I'm plugging my controller and set it up and show you guys the main menu in a sec. Alright, guys, here's the main menu of the PS5. So, right now, I already pre ordered Spider Man Miles Morales. I'm downloading the game. I'm also transferring a bunch of my PS4 games like Warzone and MLB The Show. So, to transfer games, I have this external hard drive I've been using for the PS4. You can literally just transfer all your games from PS4 to the PS5 by just putting it into the USB. It's that easy. It'll just take a while to put a few patches in, but that'll be it. And thanks for watching this video. I'll come up with a review video shortly soon.